The Jerusalem artichoke, Helianthus tuberosus, also called sunroot, sunchoke, wild sunflower, toponamber, or earth apple, is a species of sunflower native to Central North America. It is cultivated widely across the temperate zone for its tuber, which is used as a root vegetable. The flowers are briefly fragrant, giving off a light, vanilla chocolate perfume. The tubers can be eaten raw cooked or pickled. The tuber contains about 2% protein, no oil, and little starch. It is rich in the carbohydrate inulin, 8 to 13%, which is a polymer of the monosaccharide fructose. Tubers stored for any length of time convert their inulin into its component, fructose. Jerusalem artichokes have an underlying sweet taste because of the fructose, which is about one and a half times as sweet as sucrose. It has also been reported as a folk remedy for diabetes. Since inulin is not assimilated in the intestine, it doesn't cause a glycemic spike as potatoes would. Temperature variances have been shown to affect the amount of inulin the Jerusalem artichoke can produce. It makes less inulin in a colder region than when it is in a warmer region. Unlike most tubers, but in common with many other members of the Asteraceae, including the artichoke, Jerusalem artichoke tubers store their carbohydrate as inulin, not to be confused with insulin, rather than as starch. This has made them an important source of inulin used as a dietary fiber in food manufacturing. Jerusalem artichoke can propagate with seeds and tubers, but the use of tubers leads to higher yields. For planting, the tubers are cut into pieces with 3 to 5 buds that are placed in 5 to 10 centimeters depth in the soil. Jerusalem artichoke has low nutrient requirements and needs less nitrogen than other energy crops. The competitiveness against weeds is high making weed control easier but also making it harder to grow a different culture afterward, since usually small pieces of tubers remain in the ground after harvest. The plant's high competitiveness may be due to allelopathic effects, high plant size, and rapid growth rate. Crop yields are high typically 16 to 20 tons per hectare, 7 to 9 short ton acre, for tubers, and 18 to 28 tons per hectare, 8 to 12 short ton acre, green weight for foliage. Tubers remaining in the ground lie dormant over winter and can handle temperatures as low as negative 30 degrees Celsius, minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Jerusalem artichoke also has potential for production of ethanol fuel, using inulin-adapted strains of yeast for fermentation. The tubers are used for cooking and baking in the same ways as potatoes, but unlike the potato, they can also be eaten raw. They have a similar consistency, and in their raw form, have a similar texture but a sweeter, nuttier flavor. When raw and sliced thinly, they are fit for a salad. Their inulin form of carbohydrates give the tubers a tendency to become soft and mushy if boiled, but they retain their texture better when steamed. The inulin cannot be broken down by the human digestive system, but bacteria metabolize it in the colon. This can cause flatulence and, in some cases, gastric pain. John Gerard's Herbal, printed in 1621, quotes the English botanist John Goodyear on Jerusalem artichokes, which way soever they be dressed and eaten, they stir and cause a filthy loathsome stinking wind within the body, thereby causing the belly to be pained and tormented, and are a meat more fit for swine than men. Use as forage. In former times, Jerusalem artichoke was used as forage for domesticated cattle, horses, and pigs. The plant has valuable nutrient contents and various bioactive compounds and so is used today as an animal feed source or for the health of several animal species. Pigs, for example, comma, can eat the tuber either dried or directly from the ground or the green plant biomass, stalks, and leaves from the pasture. Wash Jerusalem artichoke tubers can be fed to many animals, and silage produced from the harvested stalks and leaves. The silage has high nutrient values and satisfactory digestion performance for ruminants. Its high inulin content beneficially affects the rumen metabolism and microflora. However, cutting the tops to produce silage greatly reduces the harvest of the tubers. There are also many other Jerusalem artichoke products on the market, such as supplementary feed for horses, dogs, and small animals.